So another thing that you can do uh, to kind of simplify your uh, your controls here is if you control uh, control A on all, on your devices here, it'll select all of them, and then you can click Control G, and what that'll do is actually consolidate them and group them all into one instrument rack. So you'll see here it's popping up, and you, it'll it's all grouped together. So I don't click it; it all opens up into this huge uh, rack here. Um, and then to simplify your controls, so you're not like finicking through all this stuff and trying to adjust your your, your controls. You can actually map them into an, uh, a macro knob. Um, so you right click on this option here, and uh, the menu will pop up, uh, and click map to macro one. And this knob, uh, th these these uh, six or these eight knobs are going to pop up here. You can now control the frequency. So you can see as as I turn this knob here. I'll, I'll just call it right here to go to blue. As I turn this blue knob here, you'll see that this is turning here. Um, and you can further adjust it by clicking the map option and changing the map, the minimum and max frequency. So that, say I didn't want to go all the way to the top, all the way open, and I wanted to turn it down a little bit, the max would be um, all going to 551 uh, hertz there. Um, but I'm going to leave it open and just to show you this. And so I have that going there. And I want to also adjust the filter, our auto filter there. Um, let's close these to kind of make it easier. Uh, our auto filter. So if I right click this one, the the, the actual filter here, and I map it to um, macro two, um, and I want to have it independent uh, of the actual fil the frequency inside here, because this filter here is actually again it's it's adjusting um, its own envelope inside here, so that when we play it, I'll show you. Um, let's solo it. So when the envelope is, is completely full or open, it's or the the frequency is full, completely open, it's opening up our sound all the way. So that even though, so that even though the loops uh, setting uh, is is doing this this repeating pattern, it doesn't matter because it's going to be full or completely open. And now when we have that working in relation with the frequency the, from the auto filter, so I'll just like write this auto filter, and then. This one, uh, operator. <laughs> um, we can have this going on. So this gives you control on your sound on a whole other level because again this this filter in the operator is essentially an auto filter here but now we, the way we set it out since the envelope is all the way full it's going to be affecting your auto your attack decay sustain release uh, envelope so your your volume envelope um, so you we by doing by doing that by increasing the envelope to 100% uh, we we lot, it, it's not the filter isn't the same anymore compared to the auto filter here so we, that's why we added the auto filter to control the cut the cutoff um, so we can do a, like a low pass kind of effect there. Yeah, since we have the session view, uh, we can get into now automating these two features because you you can automate it within here, within the clips here. But I want to get into the arrangement view now. What you're going to want to do is uh, select the the clips that you want to add uh, and click them. So you can drag them around and push Tab. Uh, you can also go over here and drag it on top here and then drag them into the timeline here. I like to do this because it it, um, it like it, like doing it in the session in the session view here gives you uh, like your clips to kind of like put your thoughts down and your and your ideas down and then putting bring it over to the arrangement view lets you uh, kind of arrange it your idea and and tweak it out that way. Um, so I'm gonna stretch this out here. And I'm gonna get rid of this audio here. Let's move it up. So we have our four instruments playing here, and all together it's gonna to play. But what I want to draw in is the, the the automation for the auto filter here. Um, so by right clicking it, you can click uh, show automation in new lane. You could do show automation by itself, and it won't you won't have to do um, you won't have to. 
uh, click it to, to, to adjust it that way. I prefer to, to put it in its own lane though, just because now when I touch it, it's going to always be there, even if I add the, op the automation for the, um, the operator's uh, macro knob there. So when I play the sound now, it's just going to sound like this. It's going to, you, you can watch it too. So when it's at the beginning, because the it's set all the way down, it's gonna slowly drive in now. So this is how automation works: is that it's auto it's automatically <laughs> taking care of your um, your uh, effects here. So I'm, I'm gonna kind of do like this, this this growing effect in relation to, into the sound. So. Grab the other one here and just stretch it out there. And then next, I'm going to draw in the automation for the um, for the operator's frequency here. So I'll turn it down and draw it in this way. There you go. So that gives you an idea on uh, automating your sequences and giving a little bit more control in the arrangement view. Uh, again, you could you could have done that in the in the envelopes of your clips here, um, but you would have only been able to adjust it by going through here and, and, and having to switch through your menus and adjusting it there. Whereas if you do it in the arrangement view here, uh, you have your lanes open and you can kind of see a more a, a fuller view of what's going on, um, and you can click it here and just close it if you want to. Um, you can even, when you add your, your parts here, you can even just show param uh, automated parameters here. Um, but that gives you an, just gives you new, uh, an idea on the differences between arrangement view and session view and how you can combine both views together to finish your song. Hey guys, I want to thank you guys for the support watching and for subscribing to the videos. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to ask, answer them in the in comments. And if there's enough people asking about a certain topic, I may even make a video for them. Um, I want to also start doing some uh, production streams. So uh, days that I'll, I'll be making music, I'll be putting them on Twitch or something like that. So I want to be 
be setting that up in the future days. Um, and for the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to hook up uh, your gear and controllers. Uh, like if you got one of these bad boys here, um, I'm going to show you how to use that in your song. So I'm probably going to show you how to use that in the next video. Okay, bye.